I'll go a step further Mm -hmm. and be even more controversial and say, I'm not even sure at this point whether we can say that football is our national sport anymore. Hello and welcome back to part two of Yahoo Footballing Weekly with me, Yahoo columnist Neil Humphreys. I think this is going to be a feisty one. Oh, definitely. And we're here with... Yahoo editor Chan Kyung and... Snapshot Studio Haizam, Man City (laughs) fan and also... A lap Singapore fan, football <laughs> wow. fan. Okay. Let's talk. <laughs> All <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, Han Kyung, why don't you give us the overview <sighs> of recent events at the Sea Games? Oh. Elsewhere, the other athletes did very well. Yeah. Lots of golds, lots yeah. of silvers in the pool and on then, the track. Very and good. And then, obviously, we come to the one goal which we always wanted to win, which, but which we never could win football. Men's our, football. Our national sport. Okay. Lest so we, we, sent, we sent a team there, played. Played in it. Admittedly, it's a tough group. It was a tough. Very group. tough. Yeah, we have Thailand, and, and, and uh, we said from the start, we yeah. never expected them never really to get group. out of the group. Yeah. Just a positive, credible yeah. performance. So losing three one to Vietnam to to Thailand, okay, understandable. Mm. It was fair enough. Then they then they drew nil nil with Laos, which we thought, oh come on, at least beat Laos. But you know, it's a trans, it's a it's, it's not a very talented young uh, Lions team. So. Okay, nil nil. And we are going out anyway. And then come to the final match of the group. Causeway Derby. Causeway Derby against our arch rivals, Malaysia. Now, Malaysia has also have also been knocked out. Correct. So they, it was it's a dead a, rubber. It's a above. dead rubber of you said the deadest of all rubbers, right? Yeah. Yeah. So so well, it's only pride you were fighting for. And then you know, at least at least play 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 some with some intensity. Just finish the the, 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 the the game, no pressure at all. And they lost 7-0. Mm. 7-0 to your arch rivals. Complete collapse in the second half. Five goals let in in the second half. Uh, some of the goals have to be seen to believe. It's yeah. just comical. The fourth goal in, fourth the, goal, in particular. Yeah, Mr. And then just let it go. So, so it's just... It's, it's, I know... Whenever you lose seven 0 it's heaviest defeat in in, in in since nineteen seventy one mm. in the at the sea games. So when you whenever we lost to Malaysia, yes, you know exactly. It's not just to any team; it's to Malaysia. Oh, and yeah. then Rivals. this this obviously <laughs> went into headline headline generating more. Everybody wants to, and then hey, the, everyone, everyone had an opinion. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, yeah. Everyone, everyone, everyone had an opinion. And the acting Screw president uh, of FAS came in, uh, ah. got involved in that as well. You know, yeah. F- FAS, uh, sack the FAS, sack the players, sack the government as well, you know. There's a lot of seconds to be held, but, you know, does it really, really get to the root of the problem with Singapore football? Mm. If you just keep sacking, if it's sacking FAS, does it really help? Sack the players, does it really help? Even sack the government, does it really help? I have one question to bring yeah. up. With our, you know, decline in football, mm. We can no longer call ourselves the top team in Southeast Asia. Obviously we, not. we are no longer in the same breath as Thailand, no, Vietnam. I wouldn't call us anywhere near we, the top we, in Southeast are, Asia. Even if you look at the former minions of minions of Philippines are doing better They're than us. They're past us. They're us. way yeah. past us. And this begs a lot of questions. There were a lot of talking points. Like, are we are we doing what's right? And it's obviously that someone up there it's not feeling the ground. It doesn't understand the ground at all for the longest time. I'll go a step further mm-hmm. and be even more controversial and say, I'm not even sure at this point whether we can say that football is our national sport no. anymore. Just because we watch it twice a week on the EPL on our sofa doesn't make it a yeah, national sport. Just because we play it recre- recreationally doesn't mean that it's our national sport. Right. Yeah. Now the, the clue is in the title. For it to be a national sport... As you mentioned, recreation, participation has to be there. Yep. Have you been to a Singapore Premier League match lately? I have. There's hardly anybody there. Nope. Have you been to group uh, development matches? I have hardly anybody there. Yep. We only speak up every two years. When we lose seven. <laughs> and then it's whack the government, whack FAS, whack this, whack that, yeah. whack everything. But I think we have to ask the question. You look at our swimming development. You look at our table tennis. You even look at our track and field and sailing. We are improving in other facets of sport, mm-hmm. other developments. We are not in football. I and think that, the question has to be asked, do we even care yep. at this yes, point? That's, that's the vicious circle that, 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 that we're going to talk about because the more, the longer uh, the Singapore football is in the doldrums, then, then you know, the, the more people are not going to care about 
whether yeah, whether yeah. the sports is gonna be become a revive be revived or not, you know, the 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 sports will move on without without um, football getting better, you know. Yeah. Yep. People, the 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 thing about now current the age where we live in, everybody's got so many options to to do in their lives. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can you can last time when when all we are still a developing nation. Maybe people view football as you know a, a viable way of life, but now you can be dabble in music, you can dabble in arts, you can a lot of academic esports, uh, yeah, uh, esports, e e esports. You can or, or you just can just go to academic. You be you can succeed as an engineer, you can succeed as a doctor, lawyer, whatever thing. So many career options for you, and you know if football people see football as like, well, it's not it's not. It's, it's no not a career. It's no longer a career. I get, I I am playing for a crap team. I I'm I'm not I'm uh, crap management. Can't make a living. Ah, can't make a living. Ah, next. then then I would yeah. say own it. Be yeah. honest about it. Yeah. Accept it rather than say whack the FAS, whack that one. That. Yeah. Look, we can talk about FAS. We will talk about FAS. Could they have done things better? Absolutely. But that is a symptom. There's it's there's more. much deeper elements yeah. to this. And I will say this. Uh, our good friend So Ray Yong, mm -hmm. who came on this show yep. and got a little bit of abuse for being on this show, mm -hmm. he has been completely validated. Yep. Firstly, he went to the Sea Games and won a silver. Yep. Congratulations on the silver. In, 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 a, in an event which he's not an expert in. Correct. Yep. And broke a national record yep. along the way mm -hmm. and a personal best. Secondly, he came on our show and said, most of our country are not playing the game or showing an interest in that in the game. He was statistically correct, but people being people on social media want to twist his words and turn it into race when it wasn't about race. It was about the talent pool. Yep. Our talent pool in this country is not big enough to compete with other nations. Not enough people in this country are playing or watching local football. But to even say that, you get, oh, you're playing the race card, you're playing the... We're not. We're just talking about hard numbers. That's all So Ray Young was doing. And what I find interesting now, and we'll get to our comments, now more people are starting to say what we've been saying the whole season yep, the long. The whole season long. Right? Yep. It started off first few days. FAS, whack FAS, whack FAS, whack FAS. I expected that. They're usually from people, they're what I call the once every two year fans. <laughs> right? <laughs> but okay. our tribe, our people who follow the game, who watch local football, their arguments were much more nuanced. Yep. Yes, FAS is a concern, but there are other issues here. Our interest is waning. Mm. Our facilities are decreasing. Our places to play football are declining. There are much bigger, deep-rooted concerns here than just who sits at yep. the FAS table. I think the problem here is that no one wants to talk about these hard truths. Yep. Nobody wants to be the the forefront of talking about let's talk about this or when they do like we do or yeah. so Ray Young do everyone shouts yeah. them down or mi or deliberately okay. misinterprets what they were I saying think, I think that's the thing because if let's say coming back again let's let's not see this year past five years we, let's see for the longest time we cannot be bringing every single time bringing race into the picture about football mm -hmm. you know if you look at it from a football perspective yes if someone from a, a majority I mean from the Chinese you know I'll, I'll be blunt here, you know. I'm not playing the race card here. As a parent, I don't see football as a career. I definitely don't waste your time with football. As a recreation, yes. As a career, no. It's a hard no. And That's, the vast majority are thinking like this. Yes. It's not just one particular race now. It's yeah. every yeah. body. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you must yeah. understand why. Because the thing is that if you look at it, like, if you play, if let's say you do well, you know, call up for a national team, you got national service to do it. You know, you have to you have to go through national service. That's two years of your life gone from football. And that is the most crucial part as a footballer. And it's 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 already researched even worldwide. But somehow or other, no one is picking up on it. No one is understanding it. And you know, expect it like you know, like let's have another, you know, let's 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 hope to have another, you know, um, Ronaldo of Singapore or Messi of Singapore or, or you know or Zidane of Singapore. But the reality is that there are so many red tapes in Singapore mm. that we pretend that oh we can overcome it, we can overcome it. You know, that that really sickens me as a fan because we know that this red tape has been there for the longest time. No one is willing to talk about it or even breach about breach it, you know, and say, you know what, we need to cut this. We need to look at our infrastructure, but no, everybody is not. You know what? For the sake of 
We can bypass yeah, this yeah, thing. We, we try to bypass. Move, we try to bypass. We can work this out. You know, yeah. like it's it's really it's really sickening to the point that now the 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 recent debacle of losing seven year and everybody wants to talk about it. Six months down the road, we will be forgetting about this. Yeah, because and you know we'll be back to and, NPL. And, and I think we are, and we were mentioning it because you know why the soccer, no, the football fiesta, fiesta festival. You know, whatever. everyone will be forgetting about it. That's yeah. the point because number one, we have lost that identity. I think. When you go to Singapore games, how many of the fans are wearing Singapore football jerseys? Mm. Mm. If if it's red, you will either be wearing the Arsenal, Liverpool, United jersey. Mm. There's no culture identity. I'm sorry, like I said, I think you guys know that I'm a Leps football fan. I was there during the old National Day Stadium where everyone came on a Saturday. We watched and we support the national team. Mm. You know, everyone was united in that sense. You know, we don't need slogans. We don't need raras to 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 really rile up the country to supporting the the club to support organic. the, the everything national team organic, Every, right. everything is got organic now we have to kind of like manufacture it's it's all re- the it, and, and it, stuff. it wouldn't work which is exactly what we try to do with Lions 12 mm. yes we try to completely manufacture an entire ecosystem that was 100 years almost in the making the Malaysia Cup goes back to the 1920s try to manufacture that overnight and surprise surprise you can't you yep. can't do it you can't catch lightning in a bottle in a single season all it did do was set our development back yes. it nearly destroyed our Singapore Premier League it devastated grassroots Roots, we just focused on the 20 players in the Lions 12 squad. Hey, we won the Lions 12. Yeah, but look at the rest of the grassroots system. Let's, look yeah. at the ecosystem. Let's be realistic. We went backwards. It's Malaysia Cup era during the 90s or even before 80s, it was organic because mm. there wasn't an influx of the, the European leagues. We were all focused on local football, as per se. Fast forward now, you cannot compare because there's definitely it's not apples and oranges. There's no, it's not apples and as well. It's low, it's different, no, it's different breed. So the, coming back to the point that we are we are looking at, we are not looking at the bigger picture, we are just looking at the top. We are not looking at the whole infrastructure, we are not looking at the base. We are at most we are right now, we are a upside down triangle where it's top heavy, but our base is really, really, really fragile. Mm. And that's the reason why now, mm-hmm. with the fact that Singapore football is in the blue dustbin of recycling to the point that we are we are not wanting to accept the fact that Singapore football is terrible. Yeah. This infrastructure is terrible. We have to look at ourselves. We have to look beyond FES. We have to look in a bigger picture. Where are we going wrong? Right. And when I said this last week that we can be whiners, we got some yep. comments about that. Yeah. I said we were oh. gold medalist whiners. Correct. Um, I then, think it was Sunny Ung, right? Sunny Ung, I think he's a frequent commenter. He's a good guy. So, so he said, can anyone can anyone really blame us for being whiners? When things go wrong, who do you blame? Do you really want to blame the workers who just want to do their job well and keep their job in order to feed the families? Or do you blame the incompetent managers who do not know how to manage or the top management who's supposed to lead the corporation properly with their fat paycheck every month? No, the buck stops at the lowest level, my friend. All buck stop at the ha- no buck stops at the lowest levels. All bugs stop at the highest level and the top guys have to take responsibility. SG football is already in the doldrums of the doldrums. We can't have FAS be perfunctory anymore. Heck, at least we bothered to whine for goodness sake. <laughs> I love that, Sunny. Singaporeans. I love whiners. that, Sunny. Yeah, but <laughs> Sunny actually proves my point because Sunny is one of us. Yeah. He's one of the tribe. Yeah. I know Sunny. He's a regular contributor. Yeah. So he he knows what's going on. Mm. My point last week, to just to reiterate, was it's the once every two years guys yeah. that actually don't realise by coming out on whack, 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 no, they are part of the problem. Yes. I hate to say it, but they are. They just show yeah. their own ignorance. And, and, even, and even I feel that Sunny, uh, with all due respect, I think what's the point of always blaming people? I I, I don't find blaming people the the, the right. Well, I agree with his first part. We don't need to whack the workers, in this case, the footballers, which we don't. And I understand his point that the FES made a few mistakes. So my question is this to you guys, right? Right now, today, we are now the new FES. It's not difficult what we have to do. We know what we have to do. The three of us, Jay, the director, we sit down. We are now the FAS board. Blank slate. What's the problem? Number one, the only problem, not enough play the sport anymore. Job number one, get more people to play the sport. Convince more parents that it's a viable career. How do we do that? We need investment. Where do we get investment from? We need to go to sponsors. So we go to the potential sponsors and they come back to us and say, yeah, we'd like to invest 
but you don't play the game. So we're going to invest in Liverpool instead when they come. We go back to the parents. We can't get any sponsors because you won't play. Okay, get sponsors and we'll play. We go back to the sponsors and they say, but no one's playing. We can't fix the beginning part. We can't get more people to play. We can't get more people to watch. And therefore, we can't get more investment. If we can't get more investment, we can't build pitches. We can't build academies. And on and on it goes. The catch-22 situation, that vicious cycle. Right. Okay, I think, I think that's the, the stop, problem yeah. we've got to fix. The stop-get measure right now. Make football affordable. I think the problem right now is that... To watch? No, or to play? To play, oh, to right. watch, you know... Uh, Let's build that organically. Don't force things in our face. And like I said, I'd be blunt. Unleash the raw project is full of crap because it's just in your face. I went to Western two days back. I see the Singapore football jersey is 115. Hmm. The Singapore national team football jersey is 115. Compared back then in the 90s, I could get the Singapore jersey for $45, $45 even cheaper. So how are we supposed to support when it's more expensive? And the material is like, you know that this is not going to be good quality. You know, I'm sorry to say this. You know, I'm going to be blunt. You know, I'm not saying that I'm I'm not going to diss just for the sake of dissing. Is that make football affordable. Right now, amateur footballers are fighting over pitches. Mm. Why? Because FT, ST, Active SG is managing the pitches. There are priorities for some strange reasons. Let's make football affordable. Number two, why is it that we have to play to pay to play every single time? Is it everything is all about money? You want to you want to build the infrastructure, make it affordable. For goodness sake, Last time in the 90s, you can play football at the void deck. No one gets hurt. At most, the police just comes anyway. Mm -hmm. But then again, you get players who are from the streets. We have, we have, you know, you, if you want to get players to play on the streets, make it affordable, make it free. Mm -hmm. Have those street soccer courts. I agree. But to jump in points one and two together, I don't think there's enough of, it comes back to this point that Han Kyung makes about culture and society. There isn't enough demand for those pitches and facilities. There is a demand for housing. Go speak to any young Singaporean. They'll talk to you about BTOs. <laughs> They'll talk to you about getting on the property ladder. They will not talk to you about yeah. football pitches. Because the, the They will talk to you about COE and cars. Yeah. And they'll talk to you about ERP. They will not talk to you about football pitches. Because and if it doesn't idea, win yeah. votes, why yeah. should anyone Because care? the problem is this, that, that culture is long gone. No Correct. one looks. No, no That's one looks. Yeah. It's yeah. gone. It's, it's gone. gone. So maybe we just acknowledge it. We're yeah. now Hong Kong. Or yeah. we're now India. Yeah. That's who we are. Oh, that, that's, just, that's the most drastic and, measure that we and can do. And that's the really sad point yeah, is that we used to have this culture. Yeah. Not, it's not like Hong Kong, India, which didn't have it anyway. We, but grew, we used yeah. to have, yeah. and now we let it slip away. Yeah. Which is why I want to say things about the Unleashed the Raw project. I think, I think it is necessary because. You need a direction. Yeah. If you really want to bring back football, you need Agreed. a direction. You need something tangible. But the thing is, you need the will to make, to succeed, to, to let it succeed. And from what I've seen so far, it's just a lot of political talk. Mm. And, you know, if you, if you ask them, can we solve the NS problem? They, they, they dilly dally. If you solve the MOE problem, academia problem, here and there. Mm. There's no collective will to see it through. It's a long-term project. It goes far beyond goal 2034. Yes. That's the big that's the mistake they, they said the goal 34. Let's let's take that away. 100 percent And if, if you if you really want to re revive football in Singapore, unleash wrong is not a bad plan. But you need the, the really need the will to see everything through to make the drastic decisions that will change that will change and make the pathway to succeed yeah. much more um, direct. Yeah. The, the thing about Singapore's Unleashed Around project is every other countries also have a similar kind of yes. project. Mm. And every and those countries that succeed, Vietnam, Thailand, they are willing to go that extra yes. mile. Send the kids to South America to train. Do, do for for years if not months, years to, to train in South America. That's how they built that the current squads which are, you know, can able to challenge for Asia Cup and qualify for World Cup in in, in, in the near future. And look at Japan, the J-League. Yeah. It only started a few years yes. before the Singapore exactly. League. 19, look where it is now. 19, they qualify uh, for the World Cup regularly. 19, yeah. 1993. Three. Three. Yeah. yeah. So I think we have to look deeper within ourselves. Like us. I think first and foremost, like I said, you know, we are not, we do not want to 
the Malay word hentam FAS you know mm. for the sake of waking FAS we need to really look at ourselves yeah. make the country fall in love do, with football do we have the will yeah, to revive it yeah. Yeah. if not let's let's call it a loss you know if we really have to call it a loss then we just have to call it a loss let's not talk about you know nurturing culture because you see it's really sad because we have we have the younger generations who are playing like you know I have a friend whose two kids are playing in the Lion City Steelers you mm. know They previously, before they decided to concentrate on football, they were asking their father because they are good at athletics as well. Yeah. And he asked the father, you know, like, should we play football or should take athletics? Yeah. The father was in a spot like, you know, I, I, as much as, because we grew up playing football, you know, and the father had to say like, okay, ask your heart, which one would you prefer? I'm not going to enforce that idea. Like, you know, I'm not going to say that I want you to play football. You no. Know? He knows that realistically football is, there's no career to it. You know, The younger generations are the one who's gonna like if they are gonna waste their time in the academies, you know, playing football where they can just you know what I could just focus on my academy. And frankly speaking, it's easier to go down a whole gang stadium and run around the track <laughs> than it is yes. than it is to find a football yeah. team. So this, I mean, the question is for all of you guys: Are we serious about our football culture? Do we even have a football culture? Do we have point? the will to revive football? Or yeah. is the football yeah. culture in Singapore that's the, dead? That's, yeah. the, that's the bottom line, you know. If you want to revive football, it's a massive task. Do you have the will? Do we have the will to revive it? Or are we just honest enough to say we yep. are now Hong Kong yep. or India? And we have different interests, yeah. different sporting yeah, concerns. That's perfectly fine. Yeah. You know, we want to go in the swimming direction or the mm. table tennis because it's easier, it's yeah. smaller, it's yeah. more manageable. It's individual sport. It's individual sport. Yeah. What do you think? Send all of your comments to... Yahoo Southeast Asia on YouTube, Yahoo SG, Yahoo underscore MY on Twitter, and Yahoo SEA on TikTok. And I just want to finish by saying we do love all of your comments. We got so many yeah. this week. I got comments from his posts. <laughs> you got comments from everybody, yeah. everybody sending. Thank you so much. This week alone, I think if you combine, it was like a hundred thousand plus oh. uh, the views. Just on our I mean, I mean, after seven nil, everybody's yeah. wanting chip in. It's like <laughs> 10 views per goal. Yeah, you know, it's like a hundred. Was it ten thousand views so, so, per so, goal? So, so thanks, uh, uh, Singapore, for letting in seven. Yeah. Go. All the good comments, the bad comments, are all all, all comments. I mean, all let, comments. Let's talk about it because I think this helps in the channel. Yeah, and also I think when we are not afraid to talk about it we understand that there is a problem and then this is one of the outlets that we can and, talk and about maybe it. if something something uh, causes FAS to suddenly listen to us yeah. who knows we might not be here next week because we may all now be FAS board members <laughs> <laughs> there's more chance and we, of yeah. West Ham winning the Champions League <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching guys and we'll see you all next week take care take care